Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, chosen people, my name is Charles Ibe. I came to Chosen for the first time um, in June of 2011 during a program that was called The God of Miracles. That was June 4 and 5, 2011. At the end of the program, the pastor had prayed and um, among the prayers, he said, those of you looking for visa, permanent residence, citizenship, will receive it within three days in Jesus' name. And um, we said, Amen. So um, on the 11th of, of uh, that month, I went to check, I went to Saba Cafe to check my mail, and I saw that uh, I had a mail from the Canada uh, immigration um, telling me to come and pay for my visa. Hmm. I, I looked at the date on the mail, and it was 8th of June, hmm. which was three days from the time the pastor made the prayer. Clap unto God of the chosen. Always good to know the source of your miracle. Thank you, Father. Then I began to process the visa. And my, my visa application had been written. I had submitted it six years before. You have submitted it how many years before? Six years. Six years. Hmm. So by that time, there was no hope or, I mean, and the letter they wrote to me, they said, they referred to the, my application, they said, this is in regard to your application submitted, and they mentioned the date, six years before. Hey, God of miracle. Hey, hey. I, I don't know whether we should not clap for God afresh. We're having this information. CCA's application standing and forgotten. Then they just attended the program. The pastor said, go and collect your visa, your stay, and all that. And immediately, they say, come and pay for your visa. Then I went to Ghana, and I processed everything. Um, it was not only for me. It was for me and my family. Hmm. And I, I did give testimony about that before we traveled. So we traveled in March 20, uh, 2012. That's 11 years ago. I, I live in Alberta, uh, and by the grace of God, I am a lawyer in that country. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, the reason I I'm here today is to testify uh, what God did for me this very week. Hmm. I, there was a big problem in our office. Um, it was a big problem and um, the implications for me would be very, very bad. Although I was not the only person involved, but um, I knew that it was a terrible thing and only God could deliver me. Hmm. So I began to pray. Um, they were investigating on all of us, and if they conclude the investigation, many heads will roll in our office. Hmm. And we may not be able to practice law again. Hmm. So I was praying. I 
and I began to tune, I went to you, YouTube to, to tune to choosing, uh, choosing programs. And I was happy to see that uh, choosing is everywhere uh, or in the YouTube. And I was, I was following the programs. And there was, uh, I saw on the apron, some people we are wearing, I saw one apron which says, only God can do this. And I thought that uh, that was actually my situation. I had a, a big problem which only God can deliver me. So as I was watching choosing programs, a lady gave testimony and said she was coming here or coming to Nigeria from Germany and she had problem at the airport and um, in the course of that problem she called the pastor and the pastor prayed with her and the problem was removed hmm. so I say ah people are calling pastor how do I get to call pastor so I began to look for numbers uh, I saw some numbers uh, online uh, prayer lines I called those numbers but uh, they, they were not going through so I, I called somebody who is a brother in this church and I told him to help, I told him the problem I was having and I told him to help me find any number that I can, I can call pastor because I understand people can call pastor. So the brother called me after about two days and gave me the number. That same morning I dialed that number, and lo and behold, Pastor picked the line. Gio picked the line. Hey, hey. I was, I didn't know whether to ask him, are you the Gio? Or, I, I, I was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised. I thought somebody will take the line and start asking me, who are you? And all that, you know. But uh, something told me, go along, this is the pastor. So I just, I just started talking to him. Hmm. That's him, simple and... So I told him the problem. I said, they are investigating my office. If that investigation is completed, we will all be ruined. And I may not be able to practice law again. Before I could finish, the pastor said, I cancel that case in Jesus' name. Hey! I said, Amen. He said, Nothing will happen to your profession in Jesus' name. Hey! Amen! I said, Amen. And that was it. It didn't last one minute. So, I, I became confident from that time because before that time, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I was just restless. Hmm. So I waited for about one week, no news. Then last Sunday, I was watching the church service. I was following the church service here last Sunday. And um, then the past, I began to, I now knew that this program today is happening because the pastor talked about this program talked about publicity, talked about so many things about this today's program, and I was wishing I could come here, you know, to participate in this program and see what God can do for me. Hmm. So towards the end of the service, the pastor was praying the way he normally does, and he said, uh, you having problem in your workplace, I remove that problem in Jesus' name. Amen. So I, I raised my two hands up and I said, Amen. So I was very happy that he mentioned specifically problem in the workplace. Office. 
But uh, after the prayer, I began to wonder whether he was talking about my own workplace. Um, you know, I said, after all, I'm watching on television. I, how did he know that, uh, you know, I began to, I began to consider, you know, I began to think about that. So I, I prayed, I said, uh, if God answers that prayer within the week, then I will come here to testify. Oh, God of chosen. God of the pastor of chosen. Clap on to God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We're serving a living God. So this was last Sunday. Just last Sunday. On Monday, nothing happened. And I, I was wondering that uh, if God answers the prayer maybe towards the weekend, I will not be able to come here before today. So I was just wondering. Then on Tuesday, on Tuesday, another lawyer who was also involved, she came into my office and um, asked me whether I have received a letter. I said no, she, she had a letter in her hand. And um, that was the, the people who were investigating us. They had written a letter. Um, that investigation had been stopped. Say that again. They had written a letter that... They had written a letter uh, on Tuesday. Mm. The letter did not even mention the investigation at mm. all. Mm. They didn't mention it at all. And we were wondering, how? They just said, oh, we have reviewed your office, and uh, you, your office will pay some refund, some money, and uh, then you can continue. Clap on to God of choosing. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. He answers prayer, he answers prayer, he answers prayer, he answers God of Chose answers prayer, God of Chose answers prayer, he answers prayer, clap unto this great God that we are serving, the God of the pastor of Chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. So I immediately, as I was talking with her, I checked my mail and a letter dropped. Hey! The same letter was written to me. And all the lawyers in our office, they began to arrive, say they have received letter, they have received letter, you know. So I told that lady who came into my office, because she is a, a Christian, a, a Catholic. Um, the other lawyers, some are Christians, some are Muslims, some are Hindus, all sorts of people, you know. So I told that sister, I said, on Sunday, this is what happened. And this is what I said. I said, if God answers this prayer, I will go to Nigeria and testify about it. Hmm. She said, okay, so you are not surprised by this letter. I said, no, I'm not surprised. Then he told me, please go to Nigeria now. Make sure you go to Nigeria to testify. Hmm. And oh. I told her... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Father. I told her I will book my flight today, that, that Tuesday. So that Tuesday, I was in the office until about 9. Because this is a, a travel weekend. Many people are traveling. It was difficult to um, get a flight within just 24 hours or so. Hmm. So, but God willing, I succeeded in booking a flight. And um, I arrived in Lagos last night. Oh, God of choosing. Wonder walking God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Um, I, I, I don't know how to thank 
God for what he has done. Hmm. Um, but if it happened the other way, it would have been difficult even to tell the consequences. Hmm. In that country, lawyers are held to a very high esteem. Hmm. And Nigerian lawyers are well respected in the profession. And uh, in the province I live, a Nigerian lawyer was minister of justice in that, in that province. Hmm. So, so if, this thing, if God had not intervened, a Nigerian lawyer held in very high esteem would have, uh, they would have charged every lawyer in our office to court. Hmm. And um, they would have revoked our licenses to practice law. And this will affect the whole legal community in that place. So what the Lord has done, um, if I saw that apron, only God can do this. Right. Only God can do this. And that was what I was praying. I said, God, only you can do this. Hmm. Only God in heaven can do this. Hmm. Because the things that happened, um, we are, many people have been disbarred for minor things, just very minor things. This very week, a judge, a judge was removed from his office, not to talk of we lawyers. Hmm. So, but God intervened um, and the prayer of my pastor was answered and that is why I'm here to thank God. Only God can do this. God do chose Only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only you can do this. God do chose Only you can do this. Hallelujah. Clap unto God. Rejoice that you are a chosen. You are a beneficiary of this covenant God has with the pastor of chosen. Thank you, I, Father. I, I pray for the pastor. I pray to God to continue to pour his anointing on him hmm. and to continue to use him mightily uh, to intervene in our affairs. I pray that for my pastor and for all the chosen, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. My brother, can I speak to you a second? In Canada, we have fellowship centers there. Are you in touch with them? Otherwise, you need to get the address and details no. before you no. travel so that you connect with our pastors and branches in Canada. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. God bless you. Your testimony is so great. It's so great for the entire world. You know, every word our pastor has spoken from the beginning of this ministry, they are standing for the chosen people for the entire world. He says, whether you believe it or not, whether you like it or not, so long as you have come to a choosing program, he said you are going home with a miracle. And that whatever he says, whether laughing, joking, serious, he said heaven will confirm it. Notice that when he issued that word last Sunday in the pulpit, our brother was like, well, is it me? Am I the only person in the office? I'm not even in the church there. How can he be mayor? But he went ahead to say, God, if you do this, this is what I will do. In two days, God confirmed it and rolled away a reproach, a disaster that would have befallen his career, his family, and even Nigerian lawyers. By the word of the pastor of choosing, we want to continue to beg you, believe this pastor, believe the pastor of choosing. Stand by his word. Don't joke with his words. Look at the testimony of our brother. Even when he came to the church, how six years application, Dumped and forgotten. Pastor said, go and collect your visa, collect your stay, and all that. That same week, three days, he got information, he got invitation to pay, and he traveled with his family. Everything in the Lord choosing is real.
key into it and you will prosper and at the end of your life you will go to heaven heaven at last in Jesus name shall we clap on to God again and appreciate clap to this great God thank you Father thank you Lord Second to the last testifier.